You are watching Waffle TV. I'm Jericho Reed, and with me is Trevor Locke. How are you, Trevor? I am well, really well. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you. Um, and you're here with your show, Amateur Sex Tape Theory. Yeah, yeah. Um, so why should all the festivalers um, eschew the professional sex tape theorists that are littering the mile and come to your show? Uh, well, it's a very good question, and uh, well, they shouldn't. They very few people should come and see my show. Uh, it's not meant for everybody. Um, it's meant for a sort of uh, elite, really. Mm. Um, so, uh, no, don't feel in any way pressured to come and see it. If, if, if you like the picture, uh, if you like the title, if you like me, then come. But otherwise, go and see somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've got a quote here for you. Yeah. Shakespeare is the theatre, what Trevor Locke is the genitalia metaphor. Um, would you agree with that? Who said that? Me. Okay. Just now. Uh, yeah, I would uh, agree with that. I, di I didn't understand the last word, but nevertheless, if you're comparing me with my great, 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 great uncle, William Shakespeare, uh, how can I refuse? Yeah. Um, yes, because there's uh, some very, very impressive use of language in your show. Uh, there is, isn't there? I use language all the time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the best thing to use. It's like I rely on language to get my humour across. Yeah. It's um, a bit weak, really, that I do rely so heavily on words. I was thinking your no, show... well, sometimes I do a funny move. I do a lot with the tone of my voice as well. I think I get laughs mm. out of the sound my mouth makes other than just the uh, recognisable uh, language units. Yeah, um, I think we should um, conduct some sort of experiment where... Um, on mice? Yeah, on mice, exactly, yes, on yeah. mice, where um, you know how people judge things with like dogs and children where it's like Beauty as long contest. as you're using... Yeah. Who's more beautiful, my dog or your child? <laughs> <laughs> my cocker spaniel Daisy or your Jericho. little <laughs> um, yeah you know how they say like um, it's the tone with animals where you can oh they do they? don't they, they oh say, yeah. you're a stupid dog aren't you or yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. you are the best dog yeah we yeah, could do yeah. that with your act I feel we could yes, um, yes. where I don't know yeah um, I'm well, it's mainly that. it's mainly people that come to see me but we could <laughs> go, get some dogs in the audience yeah break into the zoo they've yeah. got a couple of new pandas we could set them loose yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway um, back on track um, I've got another quotation for you E.B. White wrote um, humour can be dissected as a frog can but the thing dies in the process yes. and the innards are discouraging to any but the pure scientific mind yeah and I've somehow ended up back on animals again um I don't want to kill any of your frogs, but there was um, a line in your show that particularly resonated with me that was, um, if life is a movie, then you're not in it. Yeah. Would you mind explaining that to us? Yeah, well, it, you know, uh, I sometimes get this when I put my iPod in and I listen to music and I walk around in my life, I feel like I'm in a movie, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but then, if, and I, uh, if you look at it closely, I'm not in the movie, am I? Because I'm looking around my life and I am conspicuously not there. You're in my movie, those two people are in my movie, everyone else is the star of my movie. Mm -hmm. I am, at best, the cameraman. I'm not even directing it, am I? These guys are not doing anything that I want them to do. No matter how many times I tell you not to walk there, they don't listen to me. I'm not even the director of my own movie. Yeah, that's my point. Do you see? You Thank understand what I'm talking about now? I do. You, and you anyway. Um, yeah. I do understand. Yeah, um, we are absent, really, from our lives. Who we take ourselves to be uh, is a concept. We, we, we live in a conceptual world, and our understanding of ourselves is, is conceptual, because actually, when you look at yourself, when you look for yourself, you're not there. Mm. Can you see yourself now? No, you're looking at me. I am. Right. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Um, and, and the uh, boys and girls at home, they're looking, they're looking can, if they look, at, they can't see themselves because they're looking at us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and uh, last year you did a tour playing exclusively houses with your live in my living room tour. And um, what was your thinking behind that? There was no thinking behind it, Jericho. It just happened. I was on Facebook uh, quite a lot last year, and people um, would sort of message me and say, when are you coming to my town? And that sometimes their towns would be a, pl a place in another country. And I thought, well, I'm never realistically going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And then I thought, well, why not? If I go to their house, then I could do it. So that's the, the idea is I've got so few fans um, that it's very difficult for me to find a venue small enough to do a performance. Um, so, yeah, if I go into somebody's house, 
usually it's it's small enough. Sometimes it's too big. Sometimes even somebody's kitchen is too big. And I just sort of have to move around waving my arms to pad it out. But most of the time it feels just about right to do a show in somebody's uh, box room. Um, perfect. So um, what's it like for you um, adapting to this where you've got your sort of, I don't know, it looks like the dwelling of a Neanderthal man or like Bruce Wayne's holiday home yeah. over there in the it's hive. It's a dark, um, uh, nasty little place, isn't it? It's yeah. big as well, isn't it? It's big. It's big. It's a lot less sort of personal it's than not houses. Personal. Yeah, um, yeah. No, it's tough. Yeah. But it's, it's very big. If, if everyone that came to see me over the festival came on the same night, it would not be too big. It would be slightly too big. There'd still be a couple of rooms, uh, you know, there'll be some seats empty at the back. Yeah. But, unfortunately, everyone comes on a different night, and so it's too big for me, really. It's too big. But uh, next year, mm. I'll... Uh, I'll be in a smaller room. Next year we'll try and condense the fringe to one night and people can bring their pets. Or just do it on one night, yeah. 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 Um, and um, what are your plans post-Edinburgh? Post-Edinburgh? Yeah, well, well I mean it's not got long to not got long to go, Another this 2012. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine Prophecy Edinburgh will be destroyed really? in 2012. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I've, uh, I've been... My girlfriend bought me a one-way ticket to South America for my birthday recently. Oh, okay. oh, wow. So I'm going to go to South America. Whether I make it back, who knows. Um, yeah, no plans. I t tend not to have plans. Mm -hmm. um, so I honestly don't know. I, I would like to come back next year to the Edinburgh Festival. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it so much. But uh, who knows? I honestly don't know. There are no plans. No plans. Um, well, for the sake of the people here um, of Edinburgh, um, I hope you do make it back next year, oh, and um, you. with your um, so your musings on people being sort of voyeurs in their own life, people being more fixated on watching rather than actively participating in things. Mm. I feel we've successfully um, destroyed the concept of Waffle TV. So there you go. Um, dislike us on Facebook, unfollow us on Twitter. Don't watch any of our videos, but go and see Trevor Locke's Amateur Sex Tape Theory. He's live at the Hive, and it's an hour after five, or six, as some people call it, if they don't feel the need to rhyme compulsively. Um, thank you, Trevor.